What is up, everybody? How you doing? So, oh, did I not? I didn't. Son of a bitch. I didn't do my neck thing up. Fuck. <laughs> my neck strap. My neck thing. I didn't my neck. Oh, God, I can't even get a button now. <gasps> Triggered. There we go. Whatever. It's so, oh, fuck. Ah. Anyways, what is up, everybody? How you doing? God, that feels so weird not having my neck strap done. We're going to have to stop. This is really annoying. I can't do this. How do people not put their neck straps on? It's so awkward. So, yesterday was my day off. And I went on a nice little, I think I did like 140 mile, like solo, solo adventure. I have to fix my neck strap. I can't do this. How people do it without a neck strap, I don't know. Anyways, so I went on a little solo adventure yesterday. Basically just like around where I live and the mountains and stuff. I mean, not around where I live, like 140 miles around where I live would be really fucking boring. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. But close enough, you know, in the same, in the same state, on the same side of the same state. And it was super nice. I went by myself. It wasn't a group ride. It wasn't like a, a go fast fucking show off your big dick ride. Look, my no hands. <laughs> but it was nice. And sometimes I just, I like riding by myself. I mean, it's always fun going with groups and like hang out with people you know and going places and getting to hang out with people like not just like oh I'm gonna go ride for an hour and a half and get stop somewhere for a drink and just sit by myself because <laughs> I'm alone going with a group is definitely fun especially when you all have, like a bunch of different bikes and everyone gets you know everyone has different riding styles and whatever it's fun but sometimes, I mean, I don't mind ruining, I don't, ru ruining, I don't mind riding with a group of people I know. Even then I tend to just like, I tend to sit in the back. But mind you, I like to go expediently. <laughs> I don't like to go slow most places, unless I absolutely have to, like it's the middle of a town or something. But I speed everywhere, like let's just be realistic about it. Not ex like horribly, but I speed. And I like I like to go fast. I just like to go my own brand of fast. So I tend I tend to sit in the back of like group rides anyways. Even though I do have it's always funny that you know it's almost kind of a thing with our group too. A lot of the like bigger bike people end up riding in the back. And not because any of us are slow, it's just, I just like going my own brand of fast. You know, if I want to go into a corner at 40 or 60, I want to be able to do that. So I don't mind sitting in the back and letting everyone else do what they want first. And also, I don't like being in the middle of groups with people I don't know, purely on the fact of just like, I went on a ride the other day and it was like, not a super sharp corner, but sharp enough that I, you know, I was giving the person in front of me like the single single file treatment. And we get about, you know, right about, let's say here in a corner, and I am looking this way and I see him like on the other side. I see him out of the like, you know, peripheral of my vision. And it was one of those like, you know, if I'm cutting, you're gonna be way too close to me. You know, that's a little close for me. You know, if you want to pass, it's fine. I don't give a shit. I don't need to 
be in the front going 110 everywhere. I have nothing to prove to anyone. But that's the thing about grip, uh, single rides, not grip rides. That's the thing about going just like by yourself. You have no, especially on a day like I had yesterday off, so I had no time restraints. It was literally just like, I'm gonna go out this road that I've wanted to go for a while. And I got about halfway out there and I was like, oh, there's another road. So I went up that and I just kind of, you know, fucked around and meandered for <laughs> three hours. I don't even know what it took me. I stopped a couple times and took some pictures. It was just super nice. Um, you know, I didn't have a time restraint, so and I didn't have anyone else with me that had a time restraint that made, you know, I had to, we can ride from now to now and then we have to be back or I want to be close to home in case I need to go to the, you know. Just got to go and do what I wanted to do, see some sights and just hang out. It was pretty fucking great. to a third of a tank. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like a, a gallon and a half. It was a good ride. Uh, I ended up going like into the fucking mountains. Got some cool views. Got to see a sweet little like waterfall thing. And it was just nice because I didn't have to do the, oh, we've got to be back or, oh, we can't go this way or I have to worry about somebody else. It was just, I got to go my own speed. I got to fuck off and go super fast if I wanted to. Fuck. I got to go slow when I wanted to. And I didn't have to worry about like leading anyone or getting lost or if I got lost it was like, eh, whatever, I'll figure out my way home. If you don't, if you ride mostly with groups, go for a solo ride and just hang out. It's a great experience, especially when you just, it's a super nice day and you can do, hey, uh, that's my new X bike right there, bitch. <laughs> it's a great experience and it's just, it's fun because you can just do whatever you want for as long as you want, as long as your gas tank is allowing it and yeah, I don't know. That's it, that's my story. Super quick and to the point, I think. Maybe it's rambly, who knows? <laughs> See y'all later.